Hi everyone, I'm here with Ana Francisco. I'm I am Ana Francisco. I'm here with John Fox and Sophie Moho to tell you a little about our new project funded by the CRN. Let me start by saying that we're really excited about this new project, uh, mainly because it was motivated by our conversations with families. So many parents during family conferences or when they came to visit us to participate in our previous project uh, told us how they felt that their children struggled with things like attention and concentration, for example. So we really have to thank all of you and of course the CRN for generously funding this work, um, which we believe will really help defining cognitive strengths, but also those aspects um, that could use a little work in cystinosis. And of course, this work will be really important then uh, to, in thinking about strategies to overcome um, difficulties in school, for example. So about the project, um, you may have uh, heard terms like working memory, uh, response inhibition, uh, set shifting. So these are all part of the set of skills we call executive functions. And executive functions are um, really essential for daily activities, but also overall um, for academic, social um, and professional achievements. For example, uh, to define, plan and execute a goal, we need to use our memory to keep that goal in mind. Uh, we need to uh, inhibit our responses to distracting information. And we need to be able to set shift uh, to really adapt to uh, the always changing uh, uh, demands of our environment. We'll use EEG, uh, which is that method that measures brain uh, electrical activity uh, while you are wearing a cap, which really looks like a swimming cap, uh, but this one is uh, full of wires. And for those of you uh, who don't know what I'm talking about, let me just assure you that this is not painful, there's no pain involved, uh, and that the wires uh, barely touch your skin. And we'll use uh, a set of cognitive tests to uh, assess what is working pretty well and what is working less ideally uh, in cystinosis in terms of executive function. And this time, parents prepare to do some work too. So to understand if the differences that we see in cystinosis uh, are mainly due to the mutation or if they are the result of um, disease-related factors such as um, going through a transplant, for example, or using cystamine, um, we will ask the parents to do the same tasks and will com then compare their brain responses to those of their children and to a group of controls without cystinosis. We'll start recruiting soon, so we'll be reaching out to you directly if you've been at our lab before, uh, and we'll be posting on social media. And that's it. Uh, happy Cystinosis Awareness Day, everyone. Uh, take care, and I hope to see you soon.